Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing the word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, we're almost out of here. All right, I just want to do a um, quick video, you know, dealing with the men and the Lord, you know, and um, I, I guess, you know, kind of re uh, relating the men of the Lord as the guardians of the galaxy, you know, because the scriptures speak on us, you know, basically, you know, we gonna, we gonna have the, the power or authority, you know, to, not that we will, but we all have that type of power to judge angels. But not only that, to judge all the other nations, you know, we're set up to be a nation of kings and priests, right? Meaning we're gonna be able to rule and and um, um administer judgment, you know, all, all in the same stead. You know, and that's a, that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That the the, uh, the most high, the power of, of the whole hey, universe, galaxy, so on and so forth, right? He, he chose the meek, the lowly out of the earth, right? To, to rule everything, you know, to rule in the kingdom of heaven, all right? You know, that's that's a special, um, you know, that, that, hey, that's a special, how can I say? And that's a great responsibility, I'll say that. And that's a great responsibility. And you know, and correct me, I don't know, I forget, but I believe there was a, um, like a, a line in the movie, this, the first one, The Gardens and the Galaxy, where, um, you know, basically they had gathered them all up and brought them on the ship. And, you know, they were in the lineup and it was like, I believe the guy had said like, you know, like these guys, you know, these are the, the, you know, the people that's that's gonna save the um, galaxy or save the universe or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you look, you know, just from a movie standpoint, you look at, you got, you know, a woman, a so-called white boy, right? You know, a, a goddamn a raccoon, you know, a, a tree, and whatever this other guy's supposed to be, but. You know, basically, I'm saying that to say, you know, they don't look like nothing special, right? They don't look like, you know, they set up to be, you know, superheroes or, you know, they have some type of might to actually, you know, do some shit. But hey, that's just like us. That's just like the men of the Lord, you know, that stay faithful and they have the patience. You know what I'm saying? To endure, the Lord is gonna give us that power. He's gonna give us you know, the the, um, the outcasts of the earth, you know, the so-called black sheep of the world, you know, he's gonna actually set those men up to rule over all these other nations, you know, especially so-called white men for all the atrocity he's done, you know, to us as a people, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be a, like an amazing feat. And it's gonna show, you know, the uh, the majesty and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because it's, it's only of him that will be able, you know, to rule in, in that magnitude, you know? It's not, you know, you know, we're not special, you know, we don't have no superpowers or, you know, we're not able, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to um, overturn this white man as of right now. It's gonna take a, a greater, you know, greater spiritual power to, to give us, to give us, you know, that spirit to, to, to um, to trample these nations, you know what I'm saying? Until then, you know, we can't do shit. You know, we don't have any might in our hand. But, you know, I just want to read a few scriptures on that, you know, because um, that's what we have to look forward to, you know? This is um, James 2 and 5. It says, hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and the heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him okay well, that's a fact that's a fact of the matter you know what i'm saying the most high he chose the poor you know of the world you know because as a nation we don't have shit. even though you know we we spend probably the most money in, in commerce you know what i'm saying jake is is quick to 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 spend his money you know, the last bit of his money on nonsense. You know, he got a brand new 2017, 2000, hell, 18, you know, vehicle in his driveway 
but his house look like a goddamn trap house. You know what I'm saying? Or he living with his mama. Or hell, you got Jake to go to this stream to, to live out of a, uh, what do you call it, a storage unit. You know what I'm saying? But he got the whip outside of the storage unit. All right? <laughs> or, you know, like I say, you live with his mama. You know, he, he trying to come up, you know, by some other means, you know, but basically not, not you know, providing for himself, not taking for himself, taking care of himself because, you know, Jake's priorities are out of order. You know what I'm saying? Your your first priority should be your how about should be how we shot, you know what I'm saying, and 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 everything, you know, and after that everything else will fall in place, but you know, you know, but anyway, you know, these two thirds, you know, they're not seeking the kingdom, they're not seeking, you know, the ways of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, but for the men of the Lord, the ones that's enduring, right, that's doing the work, right, that's going out on the highways and byways helping to seal up the hope for a lit. Those are many chose, you know, and when you look at us, it ain't shit special about us, all right? We don't have shit, all right? We work jobs, all right? We do work, but hey, we working just to make ends meet, barely can pay bills, you know what I'm saying? If you miss a day, it's like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? You miss a day, you know, everything is out of, out of sync and out of course. So you have to thank Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai for the brotherhood, just to, you know, to have a brothers that can help you maintain, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the point is, you know, that the Most High, you know, he chose the poor out of this world, all right, to confound, hey, the whole world, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, none of us, you know, or nine times in ten, most brothers haven't, you know, some brothers don't even have a GED, you know. Didn't graduate high school, damn sure ain't been to college, you know. We don't have no uh, no scholarships to go to college and graduate and this, that, and the other. Even though, in hindsight, you know, college is it's a rip-off. All right, it's nonsense, you ain't learning shit. It's just more added confusion, you know. But, um, you know, we don't, we don't speak, you know, will words, you know. You know, we don't have a, like the, the perfect English dialect, you know, to, to, uh, you know, to maybe to get our point across. But hey, all we got is the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? We use the, the, the words of the Most High. And the words of the Most High, hey, it's perfected. It's going to confound any, any type of philosophy that any of these people come up with, right? showing you that, you know, that this, the, the Bible is it's a living book, you know, it's a spirit, you know what I'm saying? Um, another scripture I wanted to get was, uh, kind of, this is, uh, wanted to get Matthew. This is Matthew 5. Five and three, it says, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth." Okay, you know what I'm saying? Again, just uh, comparing ourselves to, you know, the gardens of the galaxy. You know what I'm saying? That these these characters, they don't look like nothing special at all. Especially to your traditional, you know, um, so-called superhero when you think about, you know, uh, I don't know, the Flash and, you know, some, some, someone with superhuman ability, right? You know, Superman, um, uh, Spider-Man, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The Hulk, right? They have these, these characters have superhuman ability. But compared to these guys here on the screen, it's like, who the fuck is these, these clowns, <laughs> right? Like, look at them, it looks so bizarre, right? I mean, you got a raccoon, <laughs> like, what is he gonna do, right? But that's how these nations look at us, you know, when they see the men of the Lord, so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans, right? On the highways and byways, cussing out these, cussing out the devil to his face, right? 
letting them know that America is, is, is crumbling and it's going to fall and be destroyed, all right, by thermonuclear missiles. You know, that, that's a heck of a sight to see in the eyes of these other nations. They can't understand it. And it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, all right? They give us, they give us the spirit to go out, to give us the words to speak, all right? And we're all saying the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So you, it, just, to, you know, to make it clear, like it's not of us, it's not our words, all right? It's just that the people of the world, they don't read the book, all right? Neither can they understand the book because it wasn't given to them, you know? Um, one more scripture I wanted to get is, uh, this is First Corinthians. I think it's uh so like kind of, yep this is first Corinthians one and twenty seven but the most high have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the most high have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty the base things of the world and the things which are despised have the most high chosen Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. You know what I'm saying? Okay, because hey, that's 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 the again showing the majesty of the most high. That hey, uh 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 I think it's a scripture, you know, that they say, you know, basically the most high could have raised up rocks, you know what I'm saying, to uh to um to confound the world, basically. You know, I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing. I'm sure I'm butchering that scripture, but but you know, the point is, is that you know, the the, the Most High, he ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He shows his power through using regular men, all right, to bring down this kingdom, to bring down a hey, Babylon the Great, which is America, all right. By the way, for the for the for the um, naysayers out there, all right? The most high using regular men, all right? That's, that's rich in faith, all right? That has patience, all right? That's been set up since, hey, uh, since the world began, that's been predestined, all right? To take this devil down, all right? And hey, that's what we gonna continue to do, you know? It's, it's, it's a beautiful and a humbling thing, you know, for the, the most high to choose you out of, of out of all the people he could have chose, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a great, um, hey, you can say accomplishment, you know, because he didn't have to do it. You know, the Lord wouldn't we endure, you know, but um, that's what the men of the Lord are set up to do. That's what we're going to do, all right? So... With that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to you, Akim, just pushing his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four quarters of the earth. Shalom.